you for being with us here in Sacramento for the California Poor People's Campaign, a national call for moral revival, and welcome to week two of our 40 days of sustained, nonviolent, moral fusion direct action. Martin Luther King assassinated. It was a conspiracy to assassinate him to divide this because he was able to unify 3,000 people across 10 different communities to move to Washington, D.C. Don't accept that watered down version of King they try to give you that right. his life stopped the moment he said, I have a dream. That's not the King that was assassinated. Right. The King that was assassinated had the courage to say that maybe, maybe the system is not flawed. The system is producing the outcomes it was intended to produce. And maybe, maybe we have to abandon rampant capitalism and move towards democratic socialism. Yes! Yes! Let's Woo! do that work. First and foremost, I'd like to recognize that we are on uh, Nishinan indigenous land and we like to ask the ancestors and uh, all those that have passed before us permission to be here and to carry this message here on this land. Today we are here to address the issue of systemic racism, but there is no addressing in that systemic racism without first acknowledging the indigenous peoples of this land. <laughs> from Oakland to Palestine and from Standing Rock to these lands of Sacramento where we've all gathered in front of this institution that represents the enslavement and genocide of our California peoples, the state-sponsored genocide, and the militias that went after us to annihilate 97% of our California populations and continues until this day. A young woman from one of the tribes up in Canada was the first person before any government, any official agency to start a database to keep track of all the missing and or murdered indigenous women. Here in California, there are 46 women in the MMI database. We have as young as six and seven year olds all the way to our elders that are either being taken or they end up being murdered. Some of them are Jane Doe. Some of them we don't know who they are, but we know that they are of our people. We want to honor Khadija Britton missing for over 90 days and the Mendocino County Sheriff's Department are not taking it as a serious issue. It basically evolves and erupting from the extractive industries that are creating such a rape against our mother earth but in the process of that man camps are up all over this country and what happens is it leads to kidnappings abductions rape murder of our women our communities are hurting Islamophobia continues, and under Trump, it's like 200% increase over the past year. Muslim youth are twice the national average likely to be bullied, and not just by their peers, by teachers and administrators as well. The first murder after 9-11 targeting an American Muslim happened here in Sacramento a few years ago. This administration, like many others, have used immigrant communities as scapegoats in order to avoid being held responsible for United States intervention that have caused violence and poverty in our home countries. Sanctuary cities are not providing real protections for our communities. They are purely symbolic for elected officials to wash their hands and avoid facing local sheriffs who are using community funds to incarcerate and deport our people. It's not just about systemic racism. It's about the way in which racism is inherent to the system. Black people are worse off 
in 2018 than we were in 1968. That is not a flaw of the system. That is indicative of a system that has become increasingly efficient in its racism a country that's built on the genocide of indigenous people Woo! for the purposes of settler Thanks, colonialism or a, a yes. system in a yes. nation that is built yes. on the unpaid labor of black people right? or a system and a nation that ushered in things like exclusion acts and internment camps the system yes. was built to exploit the many for the benefit of the few we cannot begin with that system and say let's reform it we cannot begin with a system of policing that began with patty rollers that literally put targets on my ancestors' backs and say, how do we reform it? The moment we began chanting for Stefan Clark in Los Angeles, we had to stop because Rashario Mack was murdered in the middle of Crenshaw Baldwin Hills Mall by LAPD who didn't even bother to evacuate the mall when they killed this brother for his mental health challenge. The very day after Grishario was murdered, Kenneth Ross was murdered in the middle of a park with no explanation. Every day thousands of people are condemned to local jails and separated from their families. A majority of them are simply there because they can't afford to pay the bail. Research has shown that the bail amounts for black men are 35% higher than white men. Latino men, the bail amounts for Latino men are 19% higher than white men. The bail for profit system separates families of color and places tens of thousands of legally innocent people of color in California jails at great risk of losing jobs, housing, custody of their children, losing their lives. It's wonderful to see black men standing in solidarity with black trans women. You never really see that. <laughs> One in two black trans folks has HIV. The homeless rate is mind-blowing. Filing Friday, uh, a class action lawsuit against the city of Marysville for about Woo! 200 homeless. Woo! Yeah, all right. uh, I'm hoping I can like get my people down here because they are really in shock. They're still today, they're cutting down the bushes just so they don't have a place to be at. That's terrible. And, um, that is you know, and it's too. like they harass them when they go to town. Like I told them, I said, watch out for what you wish for because you boot us off of the river bottoms, we're moving to town. Yeah, and that's, yeah. that's what happened. That's right. you know? That is right. There's no supportive housing up there at all. At all. A society should be judged by how they treat the poor. Yeah. And by that standard, our state has failed. Yeah.
to meet with the governor. It's about us filling out our comments of what we want to talk to the governor about. I asked her how long would this take? And she said up to 30 days. And, and, and that's only in the response. We can fill this out right now. And the governor should be able to respond right away. I'm ready to go to the jail. That's what I but I'll tell you one thing. There's people in the governor's office right now and they want to go home. But we represent and we stand for people who don't have a home to go to. Don't we? So if they don't have a home, if they don't have a home, they don't get to go home. Right. They got to start doing the people's business. That's right. Okay, so we're staying right here. When we say we shall not be moved, that ain't just a song. That's everyone seated here is ready to make that commitment. Side.